great. And Bronx gets about the role players as well. If you saw a guy, Danny Angelo, who got paid a lot of money, it was a real disappointment. Damn, this camera ain't even started yet. And you have to take your hat off the Ravens. <laughs> Shit. Coach, a tremendous game, even as the point you're making. Playing it out the last minute, getting the punk return, and having one chance to throw it into the end zone to win. They, they play great. They just ran into a better team. And, you know, in the pregame show, Dan Patrick said to you, you coach me differently against Bill Belichick. And you said, not really, except you know there's always going to be at least one thing that you haven't seen. Well, that one thing was the touchdown pass. Yeah. They set it up beautifully, throw a lot of balls out there, short to the same Marine, quick pass to Amendola, and then set up the play to Elvin for the double pass. Talk about the respect of the Baltimore Ravens. This is a mentally tough team as well. Most teams, when they get up on the Patriots, four by two touchdowns, when the Patriots make that third, most teams will fall apart. The Baltimore the Ravens, they have been there for four quarters. you got to give them a lot of credit. Here's a mantra in every sport. You play them one at a time. And, yes, the Colts have to think about the Broncos and vice versa. They'll play tomorrow in Denver. But you have to believe that the hearts sank for both Indianapolis and for Denver because, all right, you win the game. Come on, you got to come here. Think about that, Bobby. I know you do think about it. Really? You got to think I've about it. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, man.
Welcome back to the Volkswagen Hosting Report. We are now at Michaels and Chris Collinsworth. One one in and going to the 3531 was the final score. We were talking to Bill Burns here the other day. He asked about this team. He said it's a team that's improved every week. He said our defense has been great. We aren't outscore teams. We can beat them by scoring 13 points on the nice. <laughs> case. Hard working, unselfish group. Tell them what to do, and they try to do it. They got it done tonight. Well, and they did it with Tom Brady. You know, we talked about it at the top of the show. It's so tough to run on the Ravens, but who would have ever imagined four runs only in the second half? And what were they? Tom Brady quarterback snake and three Tom Brady kneel downs. That was their entire running game in the second half, and they come back and win the game because they have one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Coaches are always saying you have to run the ball. Some of them do Sometimes you don't. Know. So the guys already discussed uh, the the AFC uh, side of the bracket. You know that Denver's going to come here next week or Indianapolis Fair once tomorrow. What do you think about on the NFC side right now? I have to see somebody beat Seattle. We saw them in Arizona, right? I thought they were absolutely brilliant. Russell Wilson was so good. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys may be the team this year. Sure, I'm about to go play a fucking Xbox right now. So you go into Green Bay. You're not sure about Aaron Rodgers. How healthy is he going to be? And the Cowboys have already gone to Seattle and won there because they yeah, I'm about to play. Ready? Yeah. Let me check. Yes, Carl. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. See if he smokes for me. Nigga, bro. It's the time ever, though. Mm. That shit too bright. Keep that bitch warm, though. Okay. Thank you, somebody. Mark Sean is that nigga, dog. Check this shit out. That nigga win. Damn. Best running back in the game right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think this ain't coming. Hey, I'm exiting. I'm exiting this shit out. Fuck that.